there is some discussion in the sports arena of him unretiring and possibly going to play for Miami. Uh, and there's been speculation on this. Some some uh, like journalists in the sports world and others have spoken out saying it's a good bet. I'll say, uh, let's see. Scott Zolak, former NFL quarterback, mm. who has spent more than 10 years on the Patriots radio team, said he believes not only will Brady return, but the most likely place is Miami. He told NBC Sports Boston, Brady may go to Miami. I think that's in play. The possibility of him coming out of retirement is 100% in play. That's what he says. Um, sports guessers Rich Eisen and Colin Cowherd both said they also believe this could happen. He's officially a free agent as of tomorrow. So any team could contact him about playing. And um, Zolak went on to say, I know that Brady's handlers have moved to Miami and that he's supposedly looking at private schools there for his kids. Now, the Dolphins already have Tua, Taglo Viola. He's the guy who got the concussions. I'm sorry if I butchered that last name. Um, but of course, there's a question about whether Tua is going to you know, be there for the long term, given all the injuries. And this would be unbelievable. One thing for the record, uh, they spoke with Gronk, uh, you know, his longtime teammate, and Gronk said uh, he's done playing. Tom is definitely totally done playing. I have no inside information, but I'm basing it off of his retirement announcement. I think all this is nonsense. What do you think? Um, I think that we need to first just applaud Tom Brady for not only at this age, 45, having the opportunity to still play and the leverage to command this much attention and interest if he's still going to play. That's amazing. Like From his couch. Yes, exactly. Like And then have a $300-plus million job waiting on you as a Fox broadcaster. Let's just be real about this. Like Compare that he to delayed our that for realities, a right? I'm a former player. I played a decade. And a couple things retire you from the game. One, you just can't play as well as you want to. Like, that's literally, I think, the starting point. When you realize your better days are certainly behind you than in front of you, then it's time to start thinking retirement. Another thing that retires you is what's out of your control, the politics at play. We drafted someone who's almost as good as you, but they're 21 and cheap. Well, guess what? The politics at play, you get released. And then everyone runs that same, they run that same understanding. Like, look, every team is going to look for the younger, cheaper version. You find yourself on the outside. Tom Brady's not in that conversation. Tom Brady still can play well going forward. He can still lead a team going forward. But last year wasn't his best year, and he knows that. Does he want to go out that way? It's a very emotional decision to make to retire. That's why he's unretired before. That's why I think he's going to unretire again. Why not? You do. It is a child's game you're playing. You play it till you can't play it anymore. The saying in the locker room is you ball till you fall. And Tom Brady hasn't fallen yet. He's still in place to command a starting job wherever he decides to go. So that guy has opportunities. He has leverage. The only thing that's making you give it up maybe is the process. Maybe it's the preparation. But Giselle divorced to Tom Brady moves to Miami. Tom Brady, if he's smart, moves right there because his kids are there. And now they have the co-parenting situation locked up. And then I can play for the local team? Like, what do I have to lose? My legacy is solidified. No one cares about Jordan's wizard years. No one's going to care about Brady's <laughs> dolphin years it's if true. they don't go so well. So it's a no-brainer to me if he can make it happen in terms of the contract and in terms of making sure that no one else can take him from that situation. He can land directly with the Miami Dolphins. I think everyone's correct. Where there's smoke, there's fire. He's going to be a dolphin. There, that's fascinating and riveting. And I do think the divorce makes it more likely, of course, because she didn't want him to keep playing. And, you know, reportedly that factored into their divorce. Now he's a free man. He's about to be a free agent. He can do what he wants. But can you just help me understand? Because I was never a big athlete. I don't, I feel like you'd be tired. <laughs> Maybe you'd want to get your 300 million from Fox just to do the commentary now and not have a bunch of big guys trying to knock you down every weekend and you know the aches and pains get tougher as you're in your mid 40s versus when you're in your mid mid 20s like what is it about this game that he cannot walk away from 
Yeah, we all have our vices. And one thing about athletics, uh, I remember I was in Barbados or something and the cab driver, he was like, oh, you're an American football player. I was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, big guy, yeah. He was like, he said, you know what's most amazing about pro athletes? I was like, nah. He's like, you do something for a living that every single person on this planet tried to do at least once. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, everyone has grabbed the ball. Everyone has kicked the ball. Everyone has closed their eyes and said, okay, I'm going to make the championship shot and open their eyes and swish. Everyone's trying to be an athlete. He's like, I don't know other professions where every single person tried to at least do it. And I was like, that's interesting. He said, and you made it. Now, why do I say that? Not only did Tom Brady make it, he's the damn GOAT. Like, Mm -hmm. All of those people, billions and billions of people who have tried to pick up a ball with their pops, their moms, to the ones who make it pro, to, oh, you're considered the greatest of all time. Excuse me if I don't ever want this dream to end. And that's what he's going through right now. You're playing a child's game at 45 years old, getting paid handsomely. Why would you stop that? I wouldn't stop it. And he's a quarterback. So that's the most protected position that gets the most love from not only the team and support, but also from the fans and from the business of the NFL. They get paid the most, they get touched the least, and they get the most love. Um, sorry y'all don't live <laughs> like me. And sorry if I keep going through this roller coaster of retiring and unretiring, but I'm really not trying to let that scenario go. Wow. You remember when somebody paid, it wasn't like $85,000 for a vial of sand from the beach where he announced the retirement. It was some insane number. If he, if he unretires, does that person get their money back? Did they, like, <laughs> I hope the they wrote that clause worthless? in there, but I hope they didn't use Tiger Woods' as lawyer because then that clause wouldn't mean anything in the court of law. <laughs> that's, right. Um, that's right. I ain't right. Now, what do you think? Here's the last question on Tom Brady. Do you think if, is there any chance, because I know you saw, you, you made some tweet about like, We've all stalked our exes online, like it just sort of checked them out after oh, yeah. it's over. Oh, yeah. And that's got to be somewhat painful, even for Tom Brady, who can probably get any woman who's single and straight in America. <laughs> um, because Giselle is on this crazy modeling tour. She's like, get it on again. Like she's been on the sidelines for too long. And she's done this ad campaign we're showing here for Arezzo, where she's got the I mean, the body, this woman has had two children. She's just a freak of nature. I just, yeah. I don't understand how this happens to a woman, yeah. um, but good for her. Yeah. And she had another thing. She was down at Carnival and she looked amazing. And she's had a, she was on the cover of uh, Vogue Italia. I could go on. I don't know. Do you think there's still hope for those two? Um, Hope for those two. Without knowing Giselle at all, and I know Tom Brady, but I don't know him like that. Um, I think this is a time for them to breathe and really take in their success. So what happens is if you get married too early, and I have two friends that are recently divorced because they got married really early, you don't really get to check your identity box fully, right? And so you're always curious of how would life be without the, the significant other, without the handcuffs, if you want to call them that, right? What would it look like if I had complete freedom? Now, I always tell them, trust me, it's not going to be as good as you think. It is false advertisement out there in them streets. You go to the local club and bars and hang out, you're going to find out quickly. Things look great, but all things with syrup ain't pancakes. And I'm like, it is not that fresh out there. <laughs> so they find out the hard way. But you got to find out. I always give this example. You go to Six Flags, right? You're waiting on the roller coaster. It's a three-hour wait. And you're like, oh, God. But I heard this is the best roller coaster in the world. Okay, I got to do it. And you're sitting there in line, line. You get close to the front. And people are starting to get off saying, oh, that ride sucked. I would have never waited that long. Oh, that ride sucked. Would you get out of line? Not a single soul in this world, right? I got to figure that out and find out for myself. So that's mm -hmm. what happens with people. People don't care what you said. Oh, that's what happened to you. Oh, that's how your experience was. Let me go find out. So Giselle's going to find out. Are these single men out here? Are they really checking for me? Am I checking for them? And vice versa with Tom Brady. I think the experience will be better for Tom than it will be for Giselle. Why? Because Tom Brady is still doing 
football. He's still in football. He's going to unretire if he wants to. He's still in that zone. He's still going to be a broadcaster in football. Giselle is modeling. That's great. But she modeled forever. And she's still going to model forever. But in the same scope, she's used to that. Tom Brady's not only a football player who's now single. Lord, that was a beautiful place to be. And he could be a broadcaster <laughs> single. And then he's already known what it felt like married and single. I just think Tom Brady is going to have a, a, a greater fun time being single than Giselle. And then you know how the kid dynamic plays with a mother different than a father. We'll see how it goes mm -hmm. down. But I don't think they're looking at each other right now. I think they're looking at who I can be without this other person always around me. I mean, I think their biggest challenge is, uh, as I say, he has, okay, he's the most eligible bachelor now, mm -hmm. but, and I'm sure there are many women who are like, me, 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 but I feel like there would be so much pressure to follow Giselle or to follow Tom Brady, for that matter, as the new love interest of one of those people. Like, part of the problem they have is that they've already been married to the top, top, like the most beautiful, the most successful. You know, they're going to have to go for something alternative, like the smartest or the, I don't know, the biggest risk taker, like a Richard Branson, you know, or I don't just something totally unexpected that, cause you know, you've already been at A++. Yeah, that's interesting. I just saw Tom Brady, what was it, a week ago uh, at the Bones Jones fight in Vegas. And look, there's a line around the world for both of those people. Like Tom and Giselle are fine the way they are. And they could just say <laughs> no, your turn. Don't feel sorry turn, for them. Your turn, right. No one feels sorry for them, but when it comes to being authentic in this world today, you just got to take whatever that you want in terms of package. And some people, let's be real, don't want authentic. They want someone that, hey, this is a business relationship. You know, marriage mm, outside true. of inheritance is the number two transition of wealth in our country. Like either you're going to get it from mama or daddy or you're going to get it from who you marry. That's number two. So Maybe they're looking for another rich, successful, wealthy person that's just nice enough. You never know. Or they mm -hmm. want the guy or girl next door. But they got options, and that's all we want in life, options. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know Tom Brady, but we we I've seen him on vacation a few times, and literally every single friend I have is like, could you introduce me? Could you introduce me? I'm like, I don't know him. No, I, no but yes, there's, there's definitely interest. Sherry from Omaha, Nebraska, has this to say about Genucel. Quote, I have sensitive skin and I'm careful about all products. Then my husband bought me Genucel's immediate effects product and the Genucel deep firming serum. Felt it working immediately. Eyes look amazing, face feels smooth, and it diminished the appearance of wrinkles. So impressed. And thanks to Genucel and my husband, I now take Genucel everywhere. End quote. It's not just Sherry. Genucel has sold over 1 million products to women and men across this great country. Say goodbye to fine lines, wrinkles, and even those annoying under-eye bags and puffiness from years of endless Zoom calls. And look 5, 10, even 15 years younger, just in time for warmer weather. Best of all, guaranteed results in as little as 12 hours or your money back. Go to GenuCell.com to see for yourself with 70% off their most popular package. That's all their best stuff, including the classic under-eye bags and puffiness treatment, free shipping, and luxury beauty box containing two free gifts, with every subscription. Go to genucel.com slash MK60. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.